bait and we're going to observe them, see if they'll take it. And we're going to do that. So in this case, um, to give you an example, we can put a little product here that we're going to put. Do we need to uh, vacuum this uh, mess here? Or you can, because we're, we're not going to put anything here. I'm going to do it so you, just for so you can see it and see what they're doing. And we're going to take a little bait. And we're going to take a little bait and we're going to... Wow, this is like a unique... Uh, yeah, this is a, a, B, a B and G. I, and, I, and I modified it. It's a, it's what a BNG mean? It's, it's a BNG well, it manufacturer, the BNG manufacturer. And this is a bulb duster. And it comes with a little attachment here, like a little, so you can inject it into voids and walls. But I do is I attach a hose to it so I can get it into certain places that I can't reach. So, you know, places that are awkward. So, what we do is we're going to put a little bit of this bait just to test. And we're not going to leave it here. We're just going to put it and we're going to observe them and see what they do. Are they even interested? They're probably not forging at this time of day. They go to forge early in the morning, but there he is. He's, you know, they're going, they're bumping up against it. They might pick it up, they might not. So you want to check if they like the product? Yeah, or we're testing. It. When we put out the product, and when we'll put it out in the field, we'll put it out on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll put it out, we'll, we'll observe and see, hey, are they taking this bait? It could be the wrong time of day. So we come back, you know, if we come back next week, wow. we can observe if the bait is gone, if we put it in a station. We can always test to see if they're accepting it and what they're accepting. So we could put a station out with uh, five, six different baits on it, and then see which one they preferred. And then that way we know, oh, they prefer this brand over this brand. And that's how we know in the field, you know, the average person in a home is gonna buy one product and say it doesn't work. Well, maybe they applied it at the wrong time of year. It's the wrong bait for that ant. Just because ants are on the label doesn't mean that um, the insect prefers that bait. Oh, so, so you have to know that that insect, that specific insect is on that label. If that insect is not that specific ant, Mm -hmm. it, like a big headed ant is not on the label, most likely it will never work for that insect. They will wow. not take it. So you got many baits on the market and you have to know which one is it, the one they're going to prefer. So, so, um, it's, so the, the white foot ant, the, the big headed ant, and the carpenter ants are totally different? or Yes, they have totally different biology. Wow. Uh, they mate differently, they breed differently, they feed differently, they have different food preferences. Uh, he, he, I put it right in front of him, he's not interested right now. He's not interested. So what we can do is we can do a little test with something like this. Check it out. So I'll take a, uh, I'll take a glucose bait. Let's take a, a, a glucose bait and see, see if he likes it. You might so, not. So, so you're, a, you're like a doctor, huh? Almost. <laughs> a more, more of a nut. <laughs> but see, so we, we are, so we, we're, no, we're putting out a glucose bait and we put one type of glucose bait and it has carbs in it, and it's got a food matrix. The thing is, here's the thing with, with baits. The manufacturer will tell us what yeah. the active ingredient is that will kill the insect. Okay. But they will not tell us what the food matrix is. That's a proprietary secret. Hmm. So we have no idea what's in there. We don't know if it's 15% glucose, 50% sucrose. We don't know what type of, because different ants will prefer different sugars. So, so, but uh, for law, the, the label has to be all the, all the... Not the inner ingredients, those are oh. proprietary. Only the active ingredient, the chemical, like in That's this case, so imidacloprid, or indoxicarb, or fipronil, whatever the chemical ingredient is that kills the ant. Gotcha. All of them will kill the ant. Boric acid will kill the ant. You think is, will they eat it? Gotcha. And if the food attractant isn't attractive to them, they're not going to eat it. So, so if, if, if this ant, specific ant, prefers a 15% glucose solution, but this other ant prefers sucrose, they're both sugars. They're different types of sugars. It's just amazing. And it's just which one do they prefer? So you buy a product that says kills ants. Well, does that specific ant prefer that? And does it prefer that this time of year? Second of all, you have competing sugars. Let's say you have plants, and they have aphids, mealybugs, thrips, white flies, and they produce um, honeydew. That's a sugar. But that is so natural, and they understand that, that that is a source they like. We still haven't been able to duplicate that in the laboratory. Hmm. So that's competing sugar. So if you're putting out a sugar bait and they have sugar on the plants, why would they eat your artificial stuff? They got the natural stuff. Hmm. So we have to control all that. That's so right now we're looking at this guy, and he's not, ha he's not having no, it. So let, let's try another. Let's try another uh, bait, see if they like it. How many do you have? We carry about four different types of glucose baits. And where's that big headed, uh, uh, the, 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 the major worker? See, right now they're not, they're not forging at this time of day. 
Hmm. They're not forging. They're, they might prefer something else. They're not, they're, they're, when you see ants, here's another trick. If you see ants walking around all over the place, yeah. they're looking for food. They haven't found anything. When you see trails, back and forth, they're on a pheromone trail and they found food. So they're, they are, they're on something they want because the pheromone was left behind and they found something they liked and they okay. left the pheromone. So, so they come, that's how they communicate. All right, so we, we, we went to Publix in the last two weeks, so maybe they are they're hungry looking for food. Right, right? Yeah, yeah, so you have them over here. My suspicion is you don't have a nest in the house. My suspicion is they just got in through the door. So they figured out how to get in through here, and they found something they like and left a pheromone. So if one insect finds something they like, like the beetle, they're looking for that protein, and they found that beetle, they could leave a trail um, to that beetle that's there. Um, it might not, you know, it might not happen. It might happen. This is all the stuff that you need to observe when you're doing pest control. Is what's going on? What's, what's happening with this insect? You know, here he is. There's a big worker. He's going everywhere. He's not following a trail. There he is. He found that bait. He's not interested. Hmm. They're not interested in that right now. You see, so controlling this problem with bait might be a problem at this time of year or at tonight. So if you leave that there tonight and you come and you find a hundred of them feeding at night because they're foraging at that time. Okay. Or they're foraging during first thing in the morning. This time of day, baits are not effective. Even if you put it out, it doesn't mean it's not working. It means they're just not foraging. So in your, in your you know, vast experiences working with the in pest control business, so, so this type of ants, uh, how you control it in the past? I mean, with, with a combination of, of, combination. of, of baits, yeah. You, you, you use a combination of baits and non-repellent liquids in the exterior perimeter, but mostly like in the lawn areas and stuff. We will use granular baits. We will use maybe two types of, of different granular baits that have both proteins and oils when they're feeding on the oils. We know the time of year. Okay. Uh, and if not, we'll have to install it in some cases. We could install exterior stations with liquid. And those stations are, are refilled and monitored with glucose baits, okay. uh, with low toxicity baits like boric acid, um, you know, tetrahydrate, uh, sodium tetrahydrate. So those are, those are different things that you know, we have to do uh, this is a very difficult ant to control. It is, a, it is considered a very difficult ant be, because of their mating behavior. They're not antagonistic with other colonies. Mm 